everyone's telling you to wear a sunscreen. Google is, YouTube is, Instagram is, your skincare expert is, and your dermatologist even thinks it's a punishable offense to not wear a sunscreen, right? So you do some research and then you go purchase a sunscreen, but the moment you apply the sunscreen, especially if you have oily skin, all hell breaks loose. You feel oily, you feel sticky, you feel sweaty, and then you just want to wash the damn thing off. So what's the hype about sunscreens? I mean, why bother wearing something which is making you so uncomfortable? Watch the video to find out. Hi friends, welcome back to Skin Credible Talks. So today is all about why you should be wearing sunscreens. So you've done a bit of Google research and you know sun exposure causes skin cancer and therefore sunscreens will protect us against skin cancer. But let me tell you something, we Indians have a little more melanin or pigment uh, in our skin and this offers us some protection against skin cancers. So we as a population are less at risk of developing skin cancers than the Western population. So having extra pigment in your skin is a good thing, right? No, we are never happy about extra pigment in our skin. But we'll talk about that later. So if you're not at much risk of getting skin cancer, then why bother to wear a sunscreen? This picture will explain. So this image was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2012. And uh, this is the picture of a truck driver who was driving on the road for 28 years. Now the most striking feature of this image is that he has wrinkles only on one side of his face. That is the side that was exposed to the sun. So this is what chronic sun exposure does to your skin. It causes wrinkles, aging of skin, laxity of skin, and it causes sagging of skin. So this is precisely why you should be using a sunscreen to protect yourself from sun induced aging of skin. But for most people, wearing sunscreens is extremely uncomfortable, especially if you have oily skin. So what most people end up doing is they buy sunscreens every time there's a hype and then they use them. When you find it uncomfortable, they end up tossing it in the bin. So this whole process of uh, buying sunscreens and mind you, sunscreens are expensive. So you buy a sunscreen, you use it and then you toss it. It's the whole effort is such a waste of time and energy, right? Well, not really. I'll tell you why in a while. So once you quit or you give up on sunscreens, you start making excuses like my makeup has SPF or I'm indoors most of the time or it's just a short trip. Why bother to wear a sunscreen? But making these excuses will not change the reality, which is you have to wear sunscreen even when you're indoors and makeup SPF does not really count even if you wear makeup like this. So how do you make sure that you wear a sunscreen every day? There's only one answer. You have to find your sunscreen. Now, this is as difficult or even more difficult than finding your soulmate because at least in India, we get a lot of help in finding our soulmate. But uh, this whole journey of finding your sunscreen is one that you have to embark on your own. Not even your dermatologist can really help you. They can offer you recommendations and suggestions, which you can try, of course. But finally, you will have to choose the right one yourself. And that is why I mentioned earlier the whole exercise of buying new sunscreens, trying them out and tossing them is not really a waste of time and energy. It is the only way and the right way to find the sunscreen that suits your skin and doesn't make you uncomfortable. So which is the best sunscreen really? The best sunscreen is one which you will wear every single day and you will not stop wearing it and you will not make excuses to skip sunscreen and once you find that one particular sunscreen that suits your skin you will be completely sun protected so from my personal experience i have a few recommendations for sunscreens for each skin type which you can try so for oily and combination skin types i would recommend a gel based sunscreen you have to always choose a non comedogenic gel based sunscreen and these are a few recommendations for you dry skin then you have to always go for a cream based formulation 
and these are a few good recommendations. Do drop any doubts that you have in the comment box.